Hi, welcome back to part three of the unboxing review of the High Grade Belt Divers Love Phantom Mobile Suit. So, as I was talking about in part two, we actually got a couple heads on here. So, I wonder, K, we have these two parts for the black head, which we're going to use, and a new V fin. But then, if we look, I wonder, A1. We have a new v, another V fin here and another head here. And um, I thought we had something else on here. Nope. And if we let I uh, wonder C over here, which may be hard to see, there is wonder C. We actually have the little set for the eyes slash chin. And what else? Oh yeah, another V fin over here. So we actually have two heads, two sets of eyes, and three V fins. Yeah. And then we also have L2 runner here, and our PC for poly caps, which is a very small poly cap runner. And then we have this. Wonder M S B K M O one which is the green beam effect part for the beam scythe. Altogether we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen runners, and if we include the PC or the Pi Cat runner, then we have fifteen runners altogether, plus, you know, stickers and or instruction manual. Now, one thing that I noticed on the bots and on the actual runners, if I could find which runner it was. It was on one of the purple wonders. I think it was J something. Yeah, here. J1. I wonder. J1. Yeah, here's the actual handle that goes to this little beam effect part to create the beam site. But if we look on the box, we'll notice that the beam slide that's wielding, the handle is all black. But, oh great, Bandai strike free, I guess, in baseball terms. Yeah, the actual handle is this purplish pink color. But on the box, they show that Love Phantom's holding the black one like from, oh, Gunner Wing, Death Scythe, Gunner Wing, the Endless Void. Hell version of Death Scythe, where he's holding a freaking black handle scythe. Yeah. Yeah. Black handle. Black handle. Black handle. Black handle. Black handle. Black handle. handle. What the F did they give us? Purpose pink handle. Right here. So that means you're going to have to sit there. And freaking paint the whole thing, which if you have like a spray gun, it'll be super duper simple, easy, two minutes spray it, let it dry, and a couple minutes let spray it, let it dry. Nope. Unfortunately you gotta use these and I'm going to use the silver one, which actually comes out as a nice dark, shiny, glossy black instead of metallic silver. Yeah. Although to be honest with you, I might not even paint this. Because, I mean, having a purplish pink handle really kind of matches the whole uh, Love Phantom purplish pink scheme. Although, I probably would paint this so that it would be more BOTS after it. 
Bandai bots activate. This is, you know, another strike free thing we had was the uh, Strike Galaxy, Strike Build Galaxy, I believe it was called. Where it's gun, you have paint its gun. Its gun did not have the secondary gun mode gimmick. There was no secrets to go underneath the gun for its charge level. The back plate to its uh, shield you, was white, so you had to paint that red. Then, over in the, um, all that Zero Mo Gundam, we have paint the bottom of the feet, we have paint the little shoes, we have paint the t bird's tail feather slash charge magazine. Uh, what else do we have paint? There's something else that we have paint. Oh yeah, we have paint its swords. Which was a stupid tart name because they are not swords. If you let them, they are the shields from the Unicorn Gunner that has little blades on it. They should call them Shield Blades, not some kind of sword blades. Okay? If you let it, it does have these shields on it. So whoever the heck said, hey, let's make it off of the Unicorn Gunner, but we'll downgrade it to a Shinobi Ninja SD format gunner. Hey, you ever fucked? I've been seeing you know, the Unicorn series. If you ever seen the actual Unicorn Gundam, you know that. Oh my God, it has beam, you know, like cycle flame shields. Well, not beam shields, but it has cycle flame shields, you know. And they mess up. This is you know strike free where if Bandai you're having problems making Gundams and actually putting them in the white colors, perhaps. You should reach out to us Americans, you know, and ask us for help and have us as a consultant on your payroll and stuff to help you out. Because, I mean, there's no excuse for this not to have stickers for some of the things, showing what it looks like on the box, and what it actually comes out is, oh, look, it's this pink, just purple. But on the box, you show that it's black. You have black plastic, you have black runners here, four on black runner. If you have to make a whole nother runner, just in that. And then, you know, how you could just tap weld it on. Like, how you did with this one. You put white on black. Pink on black. Yellow on black. Do something like that. Don't give us, well, here it is. It's all in this pink is purple. But you gotta paint it up type of BS. No. No, that's un freaking acceptable. Later in the markets, that's what they're doing now. And as us gunpla builders who like to cut them, build them, mold them. This is starting to get out of hand, okay? Maybe you should have Zachary Aquarius, Dave's World, uh, Such a Soundwave, or Channel 2S, uh, Pi 92, myself included. Because we'll tell you, no. This BS, what you show in the box, and what we actually get here, is BS. No. You cut this off, you meld it in black, you spot weld it in three little sections. Well, here it would be like two sections. And you put it on in a color black that matches the gun. Don't make us have to paint it. And some of us people don't have paints or the white paints. Yeah, what kind of F in the A, you know what I'm saying? Well, of course you know what I'm saying. I just told you what I'm saying. But I know a lot of, you know, monitors, they had like a whole wall full of paints that they have. They had display machines that they spray painting with, you know. It's good. It's easy for them. But for other people that, you know, could barely afford high grades and SD Gundams. Yeah, markers and spray painting would be best for us, but they cost a lot of money, so it's a choice. Hmm, do we get the gun that's gonna come out that we have to pre-order, or are we stuck with Hasbro, not Hasbro, Bandai's, you know, BS. No BS in us, Bandai. You show black, give us black. Cause next time, you want our green, you want our money, we're going to show you nothing that's money, you know what I'm saying? Don't go the way how Call of Duty did with Activision. Okay? They were great, but now they're just BS and everyone. They're like, hey, pre-order a GameStop! You get the Divine Justice gun! Now it's like, oh, hey, anyone else who didn't pre-order a GameStop, just give us an extra 20 bucks on top of what you pay for the game, and you get it. Don't make us do that. Bandai, don't go the route of Call of Duty... Activision. 
Stay true, stay Japanese, stay pure, stay young, whatever it is. And we know you made a mistake. You know you made a mistake. This brings great shame upon us customers, upon yourselves, upon the company, upon your family, upon your ancestors. This is something that you need to get down on your hands and knees, bow your head to the Tommy mask, and say, Forgive us! We effed up! Please forgive us! This should never have happened. Especially after you should have caught your mistake in the first two kits. No. Third kit, you know? So, yeah. And then if you give us the pieces to build the items, give us a little more stairs so we can change heads. Or don't give us all the heads. Cut the heads off for the other models. Because you see, we can't like two different heads in here. Three different V-fins. And, you know... Give us the thing in the white color. Don't make us as we sit there paint it. And if we don't have paint, well, we're stuck, you know. But yeah, anyway, that has been the unboxing, unboxing review of, you know, the uh, high grade Bill Divers, Gundam Love Phantom, McGee's Mobile Suit, 144 scale, number 19 in the lineup, which came out before number 13 in the lineup, which was the SD Art Ceremony, which. Again, how does that make sense? How does number 19 come before 13? I don't know, but Bandai, you did it somehow. Anyway, remember to hit, rate this thing, leave a like, leave us, hit the, uh, oh my god, now wait a minute. Anyway, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification button, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.